On February 23rd, a public information meeting was held for the proposed Elkon Hazardous Wastewater Recycling Facility in Falls Township, Bucks County. The company initially refused to allow video recording of the meeting, but at the urging of Pennsylvania DEP Regional Director Cosmo Servideo and the Delaware Riverkeeper Network, video cameras were allowed in the session. Elcon's presentation on the steps the company will take to protect the environment and public safety were met with skepticism. Some of the Bucks County residents wore hazmat suits to the meeting. I want to know, Elcon, I want to ask Elcon, how will you provide clean water for about eight million people if there is a catastrophic? Oh, our plan is for that not to happen. Let me explain why. If you listen, I'll explain why. Do you want me to explain why, or you already know? <laughs> Everything within the plant that is hazardous industrial waste has a backup containment system. And in addition, I can't speak for the truck on the way, but those trucks are driven by train drivers. Those trucks are driven by train drivers, and they contain supplies on board to address a spill. I'll have to answer the truck question by somebody from the trucking company. I can't address that. As a plan, I'm not guaranteeing your safety. I'm telling you what procedures are in place. Somebody try to address that. Prevention. Is 99%. So 80% of the is 99%. Let me address Nothing in life is 100% secure. Okay, prevention. Prevention. Our goal is to do everything possible to comply and do prevention. The laws basically state that. This is the wrong site. This is the wrong location for Elcon. Due to climate change and sea level rise, and the likelihood that this site is more likely and has a greater chance of flooding. Elcon is in the 500 year floodplain, uh, which sounds safe, but it's not. Because of climate change and the sea level rise, even the five, even facilities like Elcon in the 500 year floodplain uh, are, are in danger of more frequent flooding. Um, under a uh, national uh, NOAA and Princeton University study uh, indicated that even if we start reducing our carbon emissions now, there's a, as much as a 75-fold increase in flood index in terms of heights and durations, meaning that, again, a 500-year flood plan is, is not as safe as it sounds. The city of Philadelphia just released a climate, uh, their climate-ready report, 2015. Delaware River Basin Commission just released there's a little older, 2009, released floodplain protection recommendations. Both of those agencies said that critical facilities like hospitals, like schools, like, like police stations, we're saying like a chemical hazardous waste treatment facility should be built outside of the 500 year floodplain. Yes. We're not saying <laughs> should not be built in the, in the 500 year floodplain. If an accident happens, and accidents happen all the time, right. we, heard a litany, yeah. we heard a litany of precautions. Every industry is precautious. BP was cautious down in the Gulf of Mexico. Right. Exxon was cautious up in Alaska. Right. bp &L was cautious up in Martin Street. Accidents happen all the time. Yeah. Why bring 210,000 tons of chemical hazardous waste next to the river. And that image of the mile from the river is disingenuous. There's not a soul in here that knows, they, that we know that it crossed Biles Creek. Biles Creek is less than a half a mile. From the river. Um, of course it's going to be a threat. They're going to be bringing in tons and tons and tons of hazardous and biological waste from all over the East Coast. They're going to be bringing it in by road. 
trucks and trucks full every day. There's accidents every day. They're going to be bringing out more hazardous waste in another form. How can that not be a threat to the community? Tyburn Road was closed for numerous years because there was a problem there. Do you know the other entrances into the mill? You would need to take West Philadelphia Avenue, South Pennsylvania Avenue, or go through Tully County. Now, what if there's an accident or something on Tyburn Road? That will be your designated route because there's no other entrance into U.S. Steel property. This is my concern. Um, Alphonis made that commitment. They had a similar commitment that they made in Israel, and they used GPS systems to ensure the driver was The driver was given a warning, and he didn't get a warning. Oh, that's not good. We're going to help us. There is a big traffic light at the intersection of Philadelphia and Pennsylvania Avenue. Do you know how many truck accidents there have been there, and how many trucks blow through that light? So, a warning? What if there's an accident at that intersection and we have 